political brawling between the state and federal governments appears to have reached a new low as Barry O'Farrell and Julia Gillard bicker over taking money away from the poor and vulnerable and whether the carbon tax is to blame. The residents of Greenway Flats are not happy. First the federal government offers compensation for the carbon tax, then the state government takes it away. Julia is giving us with one hand, okay, and, and Barry is taking us from the other one. The state government announced yesterday that it would raise rent in public housing due to the carbon tax. Even with this very modest increase, these tenants will still only pay between 25 and 30 per cent of their income. Yesterday the minister defended the hikes saying the carbon tax will cost the government more to build new social housing blocks to the tune of $50 million over the next four years. However, opposition leader John Robertson says this excuse is a cop-out. This is completely outrageous that they can argue that they are going to increase public housing rents because of the introduction of a carbon price. According to Barry, they've got no choice. The, the fact is that we're passing on the costs that have been imposed upon the state government by Labor's carbon tax. Compensation for singles by the federal government will be up to $338. Mr O'Farrell's government will take a third of that. This is one of the most despicable decisions a state government could make to the most vulnerable in our society. Premier O'Farrell's decided that he wants to reach in to the pockets of pensioners and grab some money for himself. There is no excuse for this conduct. But Jorge doesn't care about excuses. All he wants is for politicians to know how it feels to live on the pension. I would like for them to see them living, yeah, at least a week would be nice. You know. Or we can just to have a taste of how it is. Tom Hickey, 10 News.